freshman year, I just went out there and played. Like I wasn't gonna play freshman year. Uh, security guard in the school, he was a coach on the team, and he came in my class one day was like, Miss Benson, can I borrow this kid for a second? She's like, yeah, sure. And I already knew what he was there for, and I'm like, I'm just like, I wanna play basketball, I didn't wanna play high school football. I mean, but I went in, uh, went to a practice, went to a game, see how they played, and I joined the team. After that, I went out there, got in first game, had an interception by the end of the game, 10 tackles, then I started after that. One day I'm in class and got a call from D. Brown, and he's just like, man, you got an offer. I'm like, what? I'm like, I got an offer? I wouldn't even wanna play football. Can't wait for this to be over with, man. <laughs> Excited for it. He's tall as heck, so <laughs> you gotta like get me, okay. to me. yeah. <laughs> Definitely when I went to uh, Alabama camp and I talked to Saban, like I'm sitting there, shook my hand, I'm like, yo, I just shook the Saban. Saban's hand, I'm like, this is crazy. Last regular game of the season before the playoffs, we played older dice. I got hurt first two minutes of the game. I was running the ball, got my leg, got caught behind as I got tackled, and I went down, and it was over like, after that. I knew something was wrong with me. I just didn't know what was wrong. And then my trainer, she's like, you're not going back in this game. You're probably done for the season, too. And you probably got to get surgery. And right there and then, I'm like, dang, like, I just got a season and an injury. Went to my first therapy session, and it was it was crazy. Like I just I didn't think I would be able to make it through therapy. I'm like, I'm not going to make it through at all. I won't be able to come to this again. But then I'm like, I want to get better, so I had to keep going back. Like now I'm here. Like I mean, I'm getting better. I got my testing next week to see like how my cutting is, my jumping, and running, and everything. And hopefully, I'll be cleared after that. My mental was definitely messed up. I was always down, just sat in my room all day, didn't want to do nothing. But then once I started getting out the house, I'm like, I'm good. Like I'll be good. I'm still me. I just gotta get. I just gotta get back. And, um, and that's really my advice: is keep going through whatever. You can always sacrifice whatever you're in front of you. It was definitely hard. Like I went, I always wanted to just pick the best school, best option for me. And um, the reason why my top three schools, my top three schools, because they had everything I was looking for: the family, brotherhood. Um, they had the right coaches, and they just, I just fit the schools. And that's why Penn State, Miami, and Virginia Tech are my top three schools. He, he might be. Yeah. yeah. I'm serious. Yeah. I, I was gonna say it's the hair, but <laughs> I'm six four even. You probably six four and a quarter. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's the hair, but you don't got none. I got it. I just cut it off. Or I came down. Watch me out. That is right here. <laughs> man, about to be a stress reliever, man. I ain't talking about it. Got practice. I'm like, man, they can rock the whole hood out. <laughs> As I look around and I see all these young kids, this is an example of, of hard work. And if you stay focused mm -hmm. and keep your head focused on, cool. on on having a career, you can you can be sitting here one day too, young men. So Father God, we just come to give you praise, honor, and glory, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for his mom, Lord, who raised him yeah. in the right manner and the right standard, Father God. But we pray right now, Lord, for his next step his yes. next journey, Father yes. God, that you would take him higher and higher, Father God, and that there will be nothing that he can accomplish, Father yes. God. Anybody that wants you to go to Virginia Tech, raise up your hat, please. Let me hear you scream. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Damn. Oh, you got a Penn State. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants you to go to Miami? Man. First, I want to start off by saying how much I appreciate all y'all coming out today. Uh, this definitely means a lot, just seeing all y'all out here in front of me, showing that y'all support me, and y'all want to be here my whole, uh, the whole way through. Uh, I want to tell y'all why I did it on this day. So today is my uncle's birthday. He passed a couple years ago, and I feel like this is the best way. Like I just wanted to celebrate his birthday this way. This was the best way to do it. Cause I know he's up there proud of me. He was proud of me whenever he was here. And I know I'm making him even more proud now. So I just want to say uh, happy birthday to my uncle, man. Uh, <laughs> thank y'all, thank y'all. Uh, so again, I, I definitely, I just want to thank God for this whole, like this whole, taking me through this whole process and getting me through this. Like he definitely started it for me, but he also guided me the whole way through. This process has been long. And I've been getting a lot of schools coming for me. And you know, like, it's just a lot. Like hearing from coaches every day, a lot of different coaches texting my phone, calling my phone. Like Coach Vaughn said, just being in his program. And it just got, they got me the whole way through. Vaughn Madden, uh, Dwayne Brown, and just, I got so much respect for them, man. 
uh, you know, coming through this whole community. Like, just seeing all y'all out here, like, it's just so how big of a community we are, how much love we got for each other. Coach Drew, I for sure, you know, he, that's just my dog. I mean, he played with my brother, he played with my older brother, uh, called my mom his mom, and like, it's just like we got that connection already. And. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to thank my family. Like I love these, I love them the most. They they took me through all these uh, visits, everything. Like they're always there for me, no matter what, no matter what it is. They respect any decision I make. And y'all, like just this whole community. Like I said, I just I love the community. That's why I came back to do it here, so I can show y'all, y'all youngins. I show y'all like y'all can do it. It's possible. People tell you you can't play in the city league. I went to a city league. I go to a city league school, and I'm doing it. So it's possible. You can't ever t let no, don't ever let nobody tell you it's not possible to get it done in the city league because it is. This process, man. <laughs> like I said, like one, one more time, I just want to thank God for this once one more time. He, you know, he got me this whole way through. He got me here today. I never thought this day would come. I, always, I never just wanted to pick one school. I got all these different schools. Like, I'm talking all these different coaches. I'm talking to Nick Saban, Mario Cristobal, James Franklin, all these coaches. And I'm like, bro, I'll play for all y'all. <laughs> but it's, it only comes down to one school. And with that being said. <laughs> break it down, break it down, break it down, break it down. All right, with that being said, I'll be furthering my academic and my athletic career to the University of. Y'all <laughs> I chose Penn State because they just met everything that I wanted, like they brotherhood, family, coaching staff, they been, and they also have been recruiting me since day one. Like ever since they've been recruiting me, they've been recruiting me the whole way through. Like they never stopped. There wasn't a day that Penn State hasn't texted me. And when I got hurt, I got injured, uh, ended my season, uh, the whole coaching staff, they wore a number three jersey and they took a video and they sent it to me and like they was just all telling me to get better, telling me to keep my mental, keep my mental high and uh, just make sure I'm good. And I love that most about them and that's why I chose Penn State because it's a family. Hey y'all, when I say we are, y'all say Penn State. We are! Penn State! We are! Penn State! We are! Penn State! Yes sir, the best in PA, stay in PA. And I stand. Hey Tony man, TNT, heavy TNT man. We about to turn it up. I need a marker. You want me to sign your forehead? Give me something I can, I can sign so y'all can keep it forever. Huh? Y'all gotta bring me something I can sign so y'all can keep it forever. You remember me, bro? I got you. You really want that sign? Yeah. But you're gonna have to put it in the washer and it's gonna go away. No, I'm not. Uh -huh. I got you. Hold up. Yeah, Faye Faye. We are. Uh, you looking at the camera? You looking at the camera? Let me get a picture with my family first, alright? And I got you. Just stand right here real quick. I got y'all. Hey man, two cents is the move, man. Without y'all, man, I wouldn't have been able to do this. Appreciate y'all the most, man. Since I'm gonna be playing this year, I definitely, uh, I'm just gonna work out and just get ready and get prepared for college football because I know it's definitely gonna be a different type of work. So I'll get the college uh, workout from the school that I took from Penn State and um, I'll do my workouts every day, work out basically every day because I won't be doing nothing else. And, uh, and I really just wanna focus on my mental really before going into college and then get my, making sure I get all my credits so I can graduate early and that's really it. Yes sir. I know, I'm about to pick one soon, sorry. Is y'all going to put us on a schedule? You don't want that. Alright y'all, watch out. We need the OT Dub. <laughs> you can be OT Dub for the day. Hey man, we are man, we are, we are. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right.